Welcome, this is Waffles1738 here, back with another video, and basically in this video it is the war that we had in our kingdom after we were betrayed. So there was someone who had king and alliance leader of horse, and they gave the alliance and the kingdom to some immigrants who could easily attack us and defend against us because they had multi five and all of that so we had a war with them we didn't want them to own the kingdom all the natives were unhappy with it although the person claimed that they were helping the kingdom which they really weren't at the time anyway and it really caused a big fight as you can see on the screen uh, we built a flag and they tried to take it down because uh, they were trying to destroy so they could reconnect to the LT and defend it better. So they're, they're rallying this flag that is building, which doesn't have too long left on it, and people are desperately trying to reinforce it. Some people were um, reinf like switching in and out with troops often, so they would get a lot of losses. But you can see here that everyone was really trying to save our kingdom. So you can see here that this player had a lot of T5, uh, five full armies, so it was hard to uh, battle against them when we didn't have many T5 players. But we did fight really well, and you can see in this battle that we have two T5 armies attacking, well, uh, none at the moment because they jump. Uh, it's smart because Sai jumps in the cities when um, he's being attacked so so he takes less damage so he can jump back out without taking more damage and uh, deal damage to the rally instead of uh, lose damage against these T5 armies so he'll do it again and it also distracts them from attacking the rally which is also from attacking the flag soloing on top which is also good for our defense also, since there's a lot of cities in the area, they're doing city hopping, which is a good tactic. They jump between cities to uh, not get attacked whilst they're moving between them, and it's easier to get to the flag. Also quicker, because you get momentum when you go out of the city, so that's good. So you can see here, they cancel the rally, realising they've got too many losses, as they get full deads, but the flag only gets half deads. So it's a victory on there. So this was open field fighting after the long, long maintenance that we had. They kept on adding on hours and it was really annoying. But we did finally get onto the game and this is what happened. As soon as we got on, fighting started. So you can see it starting here and horse are trying to hold back horror. Uh, we did have a lot more numbers than them, but they had a lot more T5 units. But we were still fighting really well against their strong armies. They also had uh, better commanders than us because they were from 1006, which is the sixth old oldest kingdom, so they would have all the commanders they could ever want. So that gave us a, a, put us at a massive disadvantage as well, as they did have a maxed Constantine when we couldn't even get that yet. So you can see here that they are. We are fighting well against them. We had the numbers and we used that to our advantage very well. So, you can see here that there are reinforcements coming in from the bottom right, but uh, nowhere near as much as what Hora are uh, reinforcing the battle with. And there's also just Hora reinforcements coming from all directions. This had massive participation from our kingdom because it was basically make or break. If we didn't win this battle, we've lost our kingdom. And the amount of memories that people have here, and it, there was a lot on the line, and people really did want to save this kingdom. And I was one of them. So there was a lot of participation from multiple alliances. Uh, we told people to join the main alliances, so there wasn't attacks from them. It's just easier that way as well. So we kind of, they kind of tried to surround the LT, 
it did look like big numbers at the time and the T5 looked a lot stronger than it actually was because if we've got the numbers against them their T5 is going to go down pretty quickly against our swarms of T4. Also they have better higher healing costs and we have more farms and more people to support RSS so resources so it's easier for us to keep on fighting and also after this we could fight for ages and we could um after this sorry we could farm for ages if we won so we were putting everything on the line here and you can see here that we're waiting for our rally leader to start rallying so we moved towards there oh wait they they started the rally so i've joined it and uh they're fighting up here so uh, they're trying to push them back so the rally can get through to the LT quicker and take less damage on its way and that way it will be more effective against the Lost Temple. We really did want to win this because we were getting deads every time we had a rally on the every time we had a rally on the LT we were getting full deads and they were getting severely uh, deads as well but there were massive losses when attacking it so we didn't want to uh, put everything to waste as it's not ideal and we did want to win this battle so you can see here that Mehmet is their second strongest player after um, Boru who is their strongest player they were the two strongest players in the kingdom at the time because we didn't have players that high in power so you can see here that they are being pushed back because the t5 healing costs are quite a lot so they don't really want to get that but when they go down there they're luring them towards more of their allies so they can help them but they are dri driven away by horror and they did a good job in this battle and um, it was good Although we had the debuffs, we still did really well uh, here. So this was the biggest part of the battle. It was when we actually started attacking the Lost Temple. And we had three rallies um, with our Richards and YSG, I believe, that went first with full infantry in it. And that was going to tank the LT against this constant team. So then another rally came in with a Minamoto and YSG at secondary and shortly after the rally in the alliance I was in, Hull, we had a rally coming in with a Minamoto and Chow Chow both Max. So you can see there that the Richard tanking rally went down already because they were fighting a lot, uh, a lot longer before the other rallies came in. So, a lot of the time we were... So, the Richard rally actually got the LT to half health, and then it got it by itself, and then it got it down there with the two cavalry rallies, and then it eventually did get taken out. So, you can see that people are soloing their rally, and it's really close at the moment. So, both the rallies are about the same, um, the same health as the Lost Temple. There are a lot of people from our kingdom there who are like them they are moving in and attacking the people attacking the rallies because we want as little damage done to the rally as possible because we want the rally to survive longer and we want the rally to uh, be stronger for attacking the LT we want it to use all its troops on their lost temples that's our objective not to stop them from soloing our rally as much, it's more we want to get our kingdom back. Uh, so we were fighting with everything here. Everyone was pushing through troops, any troops they had left, even if they had a very full hospital, everyone was fighting and everyone was really trying to get this lost temple back. So you can see that people are reinforcing both rallies and we really did need that against this lost temple 
I'm not quite sure how many reinforcements we got, but we'll see them on the reports I show you soon. This battle is really close at this point, but ours is a little higher health, but we did get soloed by a lot of their stronger players. So our rally was taking a lot more damage than we wanted it to. But luckily a lot of players came round to help and attack it. If they had YSG in the Lost Temple, it would be a whole different story. I'm sure of it because no one would be able to do this. So you can see in the top right that report there. Uh, we did get about half the deaths that we did that the Lost Temple defenders did. Our rally was probably the least affected actually, it probably got the least deads because the uh, the Hoif rally would have got the most deads as they were fighting for longer and their rally did get taken down but they did a great job there and I'm sure I'm really happy that everyone put everything on the line and we did manage to work together to get it back. So you can see this um, one in the top right as well which is a lot more deaths for us than the defenders. 100k deads for the defenders and about 400k deads for the attackers. This one was the infantry one and this was very a very long battle with them. This one was out there for a long time and everyone was putting everything on the line. Every T4 they could scrap together was out on the battlefield. We really wanted to win this battle. It was really crucial to win. So everyone did what they could. They did have one Sun Tzu defending and that was it. That was where they messed up with the they messed up with the defending who was gonna defend. They messed up with that. So you can see in the top top right now, which is another rally that we had. So that is 350k dead for us and 150k dead for them. The train is a little better than last time, but still not too great. So we're going to move on to the next one soon. And you can just see the madness right now. All here. So their defenders are changing. It was Alexander. Now it's YSG, which is harder, but they're still very low on health. And you can see in the top right, which is another one. 700k deb for the attackers and 500k deb for the defenders. A lot of the defending, um, a lot of the defending deaths were T5. So, well, not a lot of them, but some of them. So, they probably got a lot more losses overall as they were soloing us as well. And we win it. And there were massive losses during this battle, but the victory was bigger in the end. We won back our kingdom and it was a great feeling. So thank you for watching. Please do leave a like on the video and subscribe to me. It mean a lot. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye.